how to <clears throat> find the research details uh, from Google Scholar and uh, how to cite it correctly. I will repeat a few parts of that uh, again for you. Uh, for you. First, uh, you can uh, go to the Google Scholar account. Uh, I will share the screen for you. Mm, I think uh, now you can see it. Am I correct? Um, the next. Yes. Yes. Yes, I checked uh, some of your assignments uh, and uh, um, what can I select uh, from this? Ah, yep. This is good, ultrasonic uh, mosquitoes repellent system. First, uh, what we can do is we can go to the Google Scholar. Google Scholar. Uh, and uh, select uh, ultrasonic mosquitoes. There are many papers. Uh, uh, you can select since 2020, uh, 1, 20, and uh, since 17. Uh, <clears throat> so if you are starting a research, you better to find the papers uh, very recently published. Hmm? Then uh, the 2017 is also okay. But uh, uh, before that, it is not better to find because the technology and the uh, science is also changing day by day. Then, uh, so you better to find a paper within the last five years. Actually, I recommend you to find a paper within last two years. Mm? Mm. Right. Then uh, the first paper is the responses of mosquito and German cockroaches to ultrasound emitted from the random ultrasonic generating device. Right. Uh, it is uh, in 2007. No need. So I, I will click since uh, 2020, then uh, I can find the data paper. Hmm. Yes, then uh, the, here, smart dustbin using Arduino. Hmm. Uh, but that is not uh, published in a journal, then uh, uh, ijrat.com. Hmm? So if you are finding a first paper, you better to avoid of this kind of thing because uh, the if you find a paper from the journal, that is good because as there are some people who review and comment and correct it the expert people are correcting it. Then uh, the 
information on the reputed journal is not uh, broad. Uh, most probably, the information given in the journal should be <coughs> correct. Uh, so, we will find a paper. Bioefficiency of ultrasound exposure against the uh, immature stages of common horse, house mosquitoes under laboratory conditions, right? So uh, it's a good paper, Tyler and Francis paper. Mm, I will find it. Yes. Bioefficiency of ultrasound exposures again, the immature stages of uh, the common house mosquitoes and the laboratory conditions. So whenever you select a paper, you can see uh, the corresponding author's email is given. If you have any problem, you can uh, contact that uh, corresponding author and ask the questions because there are the, 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 the people in the international forum are very uh, helpful because they like uh, to help the others and uh, they like if we are reading their papers and if you ask a question from uh, the corresponding author, uh, according to my experience, sometimes within uh, one or two hours they respond. Hmm? So uh, that is how they work. They, they are uh, on alert about uh, their publications and uh, how the reviewers comment on their papers. Then uh, you can, uh, one way is you can contact them and ask the full paper. Uh, the second way is if you, can uh, register on a research gate. Research gate. <clears throat> there are papers uh, uploaded uh, in the research gate. Hmm? And uh, you can download uh, the paper uh, from the research gate, uh, most probably, most probably the author, corresponding authors uh, in the journals and publications are, they are in the research gate. Research gate is a good forum. If you have a research problem to ask the questions, uh, you can collect the expertise in your research field. Uh, they answer to your questions. Uh, as an example, uh, you can see my research gate account. Uh, yes. And uh, I get the message when Shi Chen published a paper, uh, I can get a message. Uh, so, in order to view that, in order to view that, uh, they ask my password. Hmm? I will stop sharing uh, for the moment to Put the password.
Yes, uh, I think you can see my research gate account uh, now. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> wait uh, for a while, I'm having a call. Hello, Ishan. Can you see this? Students? Can you see this? Please uh, respond. Students, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So, so why don't you reply, Janit? Uh, so, this is uh, our research kit account, and uh, uh, the most of the activities and new things are displayed uh, here. Then uh, I can see uh, what are the new things. So, uh, so when I ask a question, uh, someone can answer to that. So uh, a long ago, I have asked a question, what is, the, what is preprints on research key? So, uh, one uh, person has uh, answered, I, I can see that message, uh, and someone uh, recommend my question, uh, and uh, someone followed my uh, publication. Hmm? Uh, 
someone following my updates i i can follow back them if it is interested uh, uh, so, so uh, the number of reads of the papers can be obtained and uh, when when someone cited the paper that will be labeled and noticed and uh, uh, they're, they're here there are people who are following my paper and and someone rec recommend it and uh, let's see what are the messages yes uh, uh, the professor alinda silva is also shared uh, document with me and structure of black holes structure of uh, black holes and mr jalal uh, my colleague who is a study who is working uh, at iran now uh, i was given a lot of administrative tasks yes yes yeah, so that is my message uh, and sanjay dilkhan madhusan answer shared yes and uh, yes some of uh, my <coughs> students also join with the research gate you also can join to the research gate then uh, as i said uh, some papers available uh, some papers can uh, download from the research gate i will uh, track the research gate to here why this is it as yes this is a research gate and uh, uh, i will try to see uh, whether this paper is there in the research gate or not i will copy it and paste it i think uh, that paper is not uh, available ah huh? yes that paper is there and uh, uh so uh you can go to this paper and make a request hmm then uh, we when you request uh, they will send it uh, within a short period of time hmm it's quite good because uh, the research gate the link between the research gate is very safe uh, and also you can ask many questions from the research forum because uh, when you uh, are going to follow the people uh, you can see when they published papers uh see i am following 293 people here hmm they are their index is very big uh, 26.31 15.73 uh so <clears throat> if i if i uh, ask a question they can see my question and if they know the answer definitely they answer to the question and i also can contribute uh, uh, of share in my knowledge with them so at the very first beginning as a researcher you better to open a research gate account still my index is 9.94 Mm. <clears throat> right uh, so you 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 can uh, 
you can uh, click on the request of full text, uh, they will send it. The other way is uh, in the university, uh, most of the journals and publications were subscribed and you can uh, download the paper from the library. And the other way is uh, you can use a Sci-Hub. Sci -Hub. Uh, the Sci-Hub is uh, open for everyone to get uh, the paper. Um, the better to get uh, the DOI number. Uh, and uh, I will copy this and paste it to here. Yes, that paper is there in Sci Hub for. Hmm? And not only the Sci Hub and EBSCO host, and uh, there are many. Uh, the uh, uh, sources to get uh, the paper. This this is one of them. Hmm? Yeah, you can see it from Xcohost also. But I rec uh, always I recommend you to go to this way if the paper is not available on ResearchGate, because uh, having a paper from to the ResearchGate is very good because. Uh, we know uh, we, we, we can communicate with the author of the relevant paper. Right. Uh, so I will uh, download this paper. And the next step is when I download uh, this paper. Next step is go to Mandalay. So the, that, that is my way. Uh, I used to go to Mandalay and uh, when I right click on Mandalay uh, journals, uh, I can find the containing fold. Containing fold, uh, yes. Uh, uh, This one. Yes, oh, I, I have not shared the Mandalay, no? Wait, uh, I will stop sharing this because I have downloaded this paper and I will share the Mandalay for you. Right. Can you see? Uh, and when I right click on it, uh, maybe not right click. I can see the option of uh, containing fold. Open containing fold. Yes. And uh, uh, the desktop and download it. So I can paste uh, my uh, copied paper, downloaded paper to this. So this is a new paper. And uh, I should uh, think uh, where to add that paper. Hmm? So you can uh, create uh, your own folder here. Uh, CTHE, electrical engineering, electromagnetic field theory, empirical formula, instant. Facebook, uh, faculty web, fiber optic communication, FTDT, microwave, optical radar engineering, uh, journals and books, negative refractive index. New. Uh, yes, uh, I, will, I will put uh, it to the new area. Hmm? Mm. Then I can track that paper. I can track that paper and drop it to that. So very simple way to add the paper. 
yes now you can see that paper is there in the research kit and while you are reading this type of paper yeah you can you see all the informations were updated by the mendeley source hmm? the including the page numbers in the journal you don't want to uh, type it uh, manually hmm? automatically that uh, happen right now let's see how to read it hmm? as i told you uh, first uh, you better to focus on the abstract part so here see that is their method uh, for conflict of interest the reports uh, they said there is no conflict of interest uh, not on uh, yes yes so the abstract uh, look the purpose uh, they, they mentioned about the purpose hmm? in the first uh, few lines of the abstract and uh, in the second method they can discuss about the materials and methods hmm? how how you do it but in our abstracts i have not seen this but it is required we have to mention the result summary of the results maybe one or two lines they have done it the result hmm? results and uh, no need uh, this kind of a uh, large statement so one from one or two line you have to have uh, a result and uh, results and conclusions together hmm? and that the next part is also important so you can mention where we can apply uh, the result hmm? so that is uh, how the abstract forms uh so here the in the introduction uh now when we start to read it the common house mosquito uh uh culex pipiens is annoying biting the pest with the worldwide uh, dispersion in the urban environment Hmm? so maybe uh, <clears throat> this is a type of uh, mosquito uh this species is also known to be one of the most medically important vectors of human and animal diseases worldwide examples you are given examples hmm so then uh, the when uh, the examples are given see they have mentioned uh, how they have taken the examples the source hmm? if you need to find more examples you can download this paper how do you do that you can go to the reference of this paper and uh, first uh, search it through the google scholar and uh, then uh, you can search it uh, in the research kit if not you can go to sci hub and publish the paper sometimes uh, in the research kit or Uh, also uh, uh, the paper can be downloaded uh, without sending a request hmm? right uh, then uh, i hope 
when you mention about the examples you don't not uh, cite it because of the problem of citing the papers because uh, you you have to do some uh, work on the document now if you work with the mandali you don't want to worry about that and uh, uh, this next statement immature mosquitoes may be found in the variety of urban aquatic habitats including the under and above ground systems of drinking water stagnant water uh, untreated uh, sewage uh, wetlands and rice fields so if this statement is important for us if uh, you think uh, this is important for us you can highlight and uh, sometimes uh, this type of highlighting is uh, ah, yes it is working um, yes three four and as i told you you can highlight this text and uh, if the color is not enough you can highlight it more mm. yes now <clears throat> let's see how to get it into the word document hmm? so before getting it uh, to the word document you have to uh, paraphrase this statement and uh, uh, the immature mosquitoes may be found in the variety of aquatic Uh, habitants including uh, under and above ground systems of drinking water hmm? then uh, we can't change under and ground uh, systems of drinking water because that is uh, the common words huh? uh, stagnant water that is also a word uh, having uh, some special term we can't change those kind of thing but you can change immature mosquitoes may be found in a variety of urban aquatic habitats including that part can be changed then uh, you you have to write it in, in your own words without uh, just copying and pasting it to the uh, word document but uh, for the moment to show how to cite it i will copy this statement uh, as it is to the word document but keep this in your mind you have to paraphrase this otherwise it will be captured to the plagiarism hmm? um I, i will open a new document new word document yes uh, see i hope you can see uh this blank document yes first uh, suppose uh, you are doing a summary report of this paper mm -hmm. then you have to copy and paste the title of the paper uh, 
I'm going to type, copy the title. Mm. Copy the title to the paper. Yes. And <clears throat> here, uh, if you consider this as the title of your paper, please uh, use uh, these uh, items to make it as a title. Hmm? Because uh, later you will get the benefit of that. Hmm? Right, uh, I will uh, label this as a title of the paper. Uh, later you can change the uh, font settings, but uh, keep it uh, at the moment. Why? Right. Mm. And uh, here you get it from introduction. Uh, if, you, if you get it from the abstract part, you can mention it. Mm, department of, uh, yes, an abstract. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, in the abstract, uh, this is uh, important for us, uh, the method, hmm? what they have done and how they have done. Uh, so I, I will uh, copy this uh, statement for now. Yes, copy it and paste it. Uh, and uh, how, where did you pick it? Abstract and the material and method. So I will I will type it as abstract. Material and method is a sub part of uh, that. Method is a sub part of that. So I will label the abstract as a heading one. Hmm? The material and method as a heading two. Right? You can keep it for the moment if you make a nice document. Hmm? Later you will see. Uh, how it works. And uh, you got this idea from uh, one of the paper. How do you cite it? Uh, as I told you, you can go to the reference and uh, select insert citation and go to Mandalay. I will share the Mendeley for you. So this is Mendeley. Uh, again, I can come to Mendeley. And click on this and click the side button. When you click, automatically that will be added to the uh, Word document.
yes you can see uh sustanish uh, agdam abishani mahvi and uh, raisi 2020 it is uh, the citation style is american psychological association 6th edition but we need the ieee format so when you select uh, the ieee format that will be converted into ieee format quickly hmm? now here after all the papers were added uh, in the format of ieee suppose uh, here uh, there are few papers then uh, when you select uh, when you go to the mendeley and select the large number of papers uh, having uh, one or two or three papers it will be shown like this yep one from 1 to 3 and you can see this paper as i cited uh, as a first paper is uh, changed at the citation number 4 hmm? so this is very easy source and uh, you can recall the number of papers at the end of the document and uh, the reference also can be the reference title also can be changed as a heading one and i can uh, put all the references uh, to here mm, yes uh, here you can click insert bibliography when i click the insert bibliography the citation <coughs> is also displayed on your document hmm? it's very quick and if you change the uh, chapters uh, and refresh this these buttons will automatically be changed i will show you uh, i i will put this statement to the first yes and now it is for this is one entry in the reference list also <clears throat> that has not been changed but this number has to be one then how do you do that uh, just you copy it and paste it and after that when you click on refresh these numbers automatically be arranged this is 1 this is 2 to 4 and this uh, papers also has been changed according to that is that clear uh Is that clear, my students, Kasun? Yes, sir. Is clear. Yes. Uh, have you ever used uh, this method uh, whenever you you are using a document? No, sir. Okay. Now you can see how easy uh, to make a document. Hmm. now uh, i i will go to the paper again uh, and the results is also uh, we we can highlight this uh, document
Now I am on Mendeley. Um, the revolute pin uh, marginalization in suburbs of topic can Subtropic regions uh, legal to form in uh, improper water storage systems such as open drinking water uh, systems and more difficult in water disposal, which attracts mosquitoes in egg lay in lands uh to subsequent increases of mosquito densities transmission of human and animal uh, pathogens uh, and outbreak in mosquito borne diseases so likewise you can read if uh, there is a, an interesting thing to your research corp please uh <clears throat> Add it to your document and cite it at that time. According to the literature, ultrasound uh, irradiation has been reported to be uh, lethal against the medically important insects with uh, varying degrees of success. One study performed acoustic control of mosquito there was uh, the effect of using uh, lava sonic SD mini acoustic uh, lava side system. Ah. It seems that is uh, relevant to our research because uh, we are going to uh, design a prototype thing. No? Hmm? Then you can pick that idea before pick that idea you have to find that relevant paper hmm? so I, I will highlight it uh, for the moment and uh, I will uh, find uh, mountain innovations in. So the best way is to uh, select it. The simple way is to select it and search. And it will be displayed on the reference. Maybe this paper doesn't have that uh, feature. Uh, and in the reference, ah, the problem is this paper has not been given the reference. Let's see, is there a title like reference? Keyboard, uh, the reference if is not typing properly. Yes, reference is there. Mm. Mm. What is? Is not typing. Mm. New mountain innovations. Let's see new mountain innovations is there. Fresh water. Can you see it? Please help me if you can find it. Artificial drinking water, ultrasonic detection, finding mosquito.
is strange uh, that paper is not uh, in this, but it should be the second citation. I will, I will go to that statement again. Materials and methods. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see all line. All line. Only one. Um, new mountain. Some keys are not uh, typing. My keyboard is having a problem. Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> Only one word is there. So I think that has not been cited. Uh, anyway, uh, effects of thousand minutes. At a frequency of uh, 80 to 3, the 18 to 30 kilohertz against the third and fourth uh, install now. Uh, we uh, edit the in which experimental uh, was uh, big plastic barrels in which uh, uh, color containing 50, 100, and 150 liters of drinking water. Ah, so this is about the bridge it has uh, 2016 research the bridge it as means bridge and the team uh, the paper published in 2016 so i can search it bridge yes there are four results i asked bridge et al 2016 bridge et al 2016 the last one is a reference, yes, this one. So if I interest, uh, I can download this paper again. Uh, so acoustic of control mosquito. Yes. So, the M Moss Control Association is a journal. I will copy it and search it in the Google Scholar. Uh, yes, here. Yeah. Yes, that paper is there. You can see, I will share the document. Stop sharing. So it says that uh, that paper is on ResearchGate. 
hmm? the PDF. So I can go to the research gate and get the paper. Hmm? No need to go to Sci-Hub. Hmm? Download this paper and read it again since it is important for us. Then uh, that is how you can increase the number of uh, preferences. So I, I have finished of downloading it and uh, copy it, control, cut it and put it to the Mendeley file. Yes, Mendeley fold. So, and drag and drop it to the Mendeley. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have to share it, no? So in the Mendeley list, I'm going to drag and drop uh, the paper. Wait, modify it. This is still, yes. I dragged it and dropped it. Now that paper is also with us. And you can review it again and find the, the information that comes uh, from the original paper that we started to write. But uh, uh, sometimes uh, you may stop of uh, reading the first paper and start of uh, reading the second paper since it is interested. It doesn't matter. Hmm? So uh, in the literature survey or finding the information, there is no uh, limit. There is no constraint. We have to read this and find it. But only the thing is if you extract something at that time, you have to cite it. And uh, sometimes <clears throat> uh, you can paraphrase it later, but it is better if you can paraphrase at that moment. Hmm? Maybe for me, I used to start my uh, writing thing uh, at night after 10. Hmm? That is, uh, there is no background sound, uh, so I can concentrate on the thing that I'm working and I can uh, paraphrase it carefully. Hmm? So that's all. And let's see in, if, if you need uh, any information from the website, how do you uh, cite it on your document? And uh, how do we uh, put a figure into your document? Hmm? I will uh, pick a figure from uh, this document if, if it is available. Uh, yes, figure one. Hmm? I will pick this, uh, but uh, for your document, you have to uh, have your own picks. If you extract it, you have to uh, cite it carefully. Hmm? I will get this pick, uh, Lavasonic SD mini acoustic, um, get a print stream.
and put it to the document somewhere here. Mm, when you can uh, adjust its size. Mm. Yes, I, I have taken that. Uh, I have to stop sharing Mandarin. Now focus on the word document. Yes, this is that image and you can make it center. And as I told you, uh, in the reference, better to uh, use this method, insert caption method to label the figures. Later you will realize why is that. Hmm? So I will keep this uh, format, figure one format, and it has to be going to the end. And the description of the figure one, I will uh, directly extract it from the paper. Yes. And since I extract it from that paper, I will cite it from Mendeley. Yes. Now, the fifth uh, citation has been added to that and uh, I will pick some of the information uh, from that paper. Yes, uh, the description of the paper uh, is the mini figure one. Yes, like this. They have cited it. Yes, can you see? Uh, the SD mini within bracket figure one is a portable device. So uh, maybe we fig, fig, go figure one, uh, don't worry about the format. This is what I want to mention. If you label a figure here, that should be described in your manuscript. Otherwise, there is no point. Hmm? So that is why they have done it. Hmm? Because figure one is there, uh, the description of the figure one is there. Hmm? When the people are reading this type of document, just uh, copy the figure one and go to find and search it. And uh, the, the, uh, the they can see where the figure one is mentioned. Hmm? They, since they want to read the information more about the figure one. If you do not write a description regarding uh, the, the, the uh, information of the uh, figure one in the text, your paper is not up to the stand. So keep that in your mind. Right, uh, since I picked it again, I will cite it.
I will cite two more papers hmm, for you. Yes, four and five. Right. Now let's see how to pick uh, <clears throat> something from the internet. Hmm? Now I will share this. So, to internet. Where's my internet connection? So, yes. Yes, this is that. And it's uh, something uh, with the mosquito. Uh, So the Wikipedia is good, but it is uh, not a best source to uh, uh, get uh, the information because uh, everybody can write it and some uh, there is no rectification of the information. And then uh, uh, suppose say if I want to get uh, the information from uh, the uh, Britannica.com, hmm? uh, the mosquito family, uh, uh, any of approximately 3,500 species of uh, familiar insects in the fly order uh, Dispterra that are the most important public health because of blood sucking habits of the females, right? So if that information is important, keep this in your mind, you have to paraphrase, but uh, here I will uh, get it as it is. Now, how do we extract it? So first of all, before uh, extracting it, we have to put uh, this website into the Mendel. Hmm? So uh, for the Mozilla, uh, there is a Mendeley plugin here. Uh, so I can sign it, sign in. They ask my details. Hmm. I will stop sharing and uh, sign in, in and let you know. Limitations. Yes, I finished. Uh, you can see um, that paper has been identified, that that website has been identified in the uh, Mandalay, like this mosquito description, uh, this one and access time 
So you can click it and select where to add. So we worked in the new area. Uh, we have to select the new area. Negative refraction. Yes, new area. And edit. Definitely that has been added to the Mandalay. I, I will go to the Mandalay again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to refresh it to see the newly added uh, website link. Yes, uh, yes, this one without a paper, green color one is a website information. Hmm? The time is 1253. Uh, one minute before I have added that. And so this information uh, I will uh, input here, or put it here. You, you can uh, remove the hyperlinks and uh, you have to paraphrase it. Keep that in your mind. Uh, I will show you what will happen otherwise later. Um, and uh, now I'm going to cite that. Go to Mandali. Uh -uh. Now we have to go to the word document. Yes, this one. I have copied the, the information and I'm going to cite it. Insert citation, go to Mandalay and select this information, mosquito description and cite it. You can see that number is six. Uh, so here in the reference list, the online link is there with the type. You don't want to type it. Uh, manually, it, it wastes your time. Hmm? And uh, if I if I want to copy it for somewhere else. Hmm? Here. Yeah. And refresh it, and these numbers will be changed. And uh, now, I will label it as a Britannica. the title as mosquito right and uh, that should be heading one and take it to the take it before this. Why I use heading one and heading two, heading three, likewise. And uh, uh, let's uh, take a heading three. Hmm? Hmm, maybe for the moment I will label it as figure of the uh, device like that. And uh, here, uh, I will label it as a figure three, figure of the device. Right. 
and now let's see how to insert the uh, page numbers <coughs> of your document inserting the page numbers uh, insert select a footer uh, so <coughs> the best way is uh, this one yes one of one uh, the, the, the one of six two of six three of six likewise why because uh, uh, with the first page I can uh, get an idea there are six pages of this document huh? if you get a hard copy of that document sometime uh, the uh, Suppose that the last page is missing, you can identify the last page is not there. Therefore, uh, the page numbering method for, for our document, the page number in this page number in method is good. Hmm? So I will select it. Yeah. And there are two pages. Now, There are titles, there are figures. Uh, in our document, uh, the, we have to have a content. Hmm? Mm. So in the second page, I, I will prepare the content. Content. Uh, I can <coughs> recall the content, but uh, before that, uh, I have to have a proper number in method uh, the, for the titles. To do that, you can go select this and this method. So the first heading is uh, mosquito. The second heading is abstract, material and method. The third subheading is uh, the figure of the device, likewise. And uh, if you want to change the font of this, you can right click and select modify and select the color. Uh, you can select it as black and the uh, font size times uh, font is times new Roman. And uh, if you are not happy with 16 font size, you can uh, select a, as you wish, but the, after that, please uh, do not forget to select this automatically update. If you click on that, all, all the other titles will also update it according to your requirement. Select it and click OK. Look. And uh, the material and method is a second uh, part, and uh, you can modify it. Uh, the type the font should be Times New Roman. Uh, the previous one is 16, uh, then uh, let's take this as 14. Yes. Now, it has been updated. And the figure of the device, uh, may, uh, maybe we can select 13, the font size. Just type it. Uh, no. 13. One. My keyboard is not working. 13. And the font size is black and automatically updated. Yes. Right. Then uh, the 2, 2.1, this is 2.1.1. That, that will be automatically <laughs> generate. Uh, if you select uh, another title, uh, that will uh, 
mention as 2.2.2.1.2. Let's see. Mm, I will uh, I pick like this example. Example heading three. 2.1.2. Now this is bold and uh, but this is not bold uh, so we can bold it modify and select bold right now okay now in the content you can call all the uh, titles and uh, go to the table of content and click. Just click it. You will get all the uh, titles. And if you want to go to abstract, select, uh, go to this and press control. While press control, click on that. Automatically, uh, that will jumped into the abstract part then if you work with the 500 or 600 pages hmm, that is a easiest way otherwise you have to scroll it scroll it until get the 600 page and uh, how do you go to the content part the easiest way that i used is uh, just copy the abstract and go to the find part and select it an abstract was labeled uh, in the, this, but uh, the, the above one should be the title. So you can work uh, with many pages and after that, uh, when you <coughs> uh, create more and more titles, right click and select the update field and select this option, update entire, entire table and that will be updated. I will change one thing uh, for you. Uh, the materials and method. Uh, I will cut the method and method. And here that has not been updated. Hmm? So right click and select. Yes, you can see. Hmm. So hereafter there should not be <coughs> any problem of making a document and you don't want to waste your time to do uh, these type of things manually because you have to focus on the information. Hmm? You don't want to waste your time for the uh, for giving the citation information into the document. Hmm? You have to focus on your idea and you have to focus on what you present. Next, uh, the reference is okay. And uh, the list of figures in uh, your thesis uh, or document that will mention the list of figures of figures and you can call the list of figures to here uh, insert bibliography uh, we use this cat yeah th this method no so uh, you can click on this insert the list of figures can you see the figure one, you can update it. You can uh, change the uh, <coughs> pages and uh, when you select the update, that will be changed. And uh, to update the uh, entire document, I think control F9. Mm. Are there anything else to ask regarding this? Hereafter, 
there should not be any problem of uh, making a document uh, and uh, you have to use this method huh? you can uh, download the mendeley app and you can add all the papers to that then uh, you can cite the information in websites and journals and everything hmm? students do you have any problem janit no sir what do you mean by no hmm? no problem sir no problem so please use it i know you all are aware about these methods but there are some people who do not aware Hmm? then uh, uh, this lecture is for the people who do not aware about this type of things and uh, <clears throat> if you use a paraphrasing tool that's good for you to <clears throat> oh, how to say uh, to avoid from the from capturing the plagiarism now let's see uh, how this is plagiarized huh? so I, i think i have not shared it yes i am going to share the my word document again i think you can see it no uh <clears throat> but for me uh i used a uh, grammarly software because a grammarly makes the sentence patterns if, if it is not interested the grammarly changes the sentence patterns and grammarly can use the with the with my manuscript is going to be captured in the uh, plagiarism checker hmm? so I, i will show you this is uh, grammarly and when i click on grammarly that shows a uh, the mistakes that i have done maybe typos and sentence errors grammar errors and all the issues hmm? grammarly is free for you but uh, if you want to get the advanced one you have to pay but oh, uh, then uh, here mosquito there is a comma they, they mentioned that they, they, the comma is not required Mm -hmm. and that are uh, the grammar i mentioned that is not important and uh, instead of uh, important they said better to have essential mm -hmm. then uh, somebody uh, <coughs> if i use a passive voice uh, they recommend to write in it in active voice uh, it's okay but uh, passive voice is okay mm. figure should be added uh, of the we let the figure of the device and this sentence said it is hard to read if it is hard to read you can rewrite it again hmm? don't worry about the duis uh, because uh, 
that is available in the internet now. Then you hear this type of sentence can be rewritten. Hmm. And uh, keep simplifying. Uh, they have given the information. And to check the plagiarism, when I click on the plagiarism, uh, can you see? Uh, I got it at the British search at it. Then uh, I have given the link. Hmm? It's okay if the in if in the reference list uh, is shown, but here it is not good. Hmm? So you have to. That is why you have to paraphrase it. And then here for a small document, it is eighteen. Eighteen is not the acceptable level. Yes, uh, we got this title uh, from another journal, no? and uh, that is also mentioned. The second, right? Now I will show you how to paraphrase this type of information. Mm, there are many paraphrasing tools. Um, in the internet. Paraphrasing mm. to yes, I will share. Website. Mm -hmm. Yes. This so. I think uh, we have to paste the information here and click the paraphrase. Can you see <clears throat> this uh, Quillbot uh, app uh, helps you to change the wordings. Hmm? The SD mini <clears throat> is a small portable device designed for the uh, mosquito habitats. Hmm? Such uh, 55 <clears throat> Gal drums means uh, here it mentioned as a gallon. We have to careful uh, whether this idea is coming uh, or not. And uh, you can uh, how to uh, rewrite it. Hmm? The synonyms. and get it to the original document instead of that. Let's see whether it captured into the uh, paraphrase. Can you see? And now it doesn't link with the, uh, with that journal. Dear students, did you see it? Asun? 
No sir, we are still in a quill board. Quill page. Ah, quill board. Then quill board. I paraphrase it, and now I copy it and paste it. Uh, and now uh, the grammarly can't identify that statement is copied from uh, somewhere else. Hmm? That is how it works. Uh, but uh, be careful sometimes uh, the original idea of the information is not uh, coming. Uh, so I, I recommend uh, the fillboard can purchase uh, from the, maybe from India you can purchase it. Uh, but I recommend you to use this uh, handicap man. Because you have to do it manually. Uh, handicap man, paraphrase. I don't know. Handyman. Uh, handy. Uh, hand mended line. This one. Handy mended online. This is uh, a convenient one. Uh, original statement can be copied. Yeah. And Now you can try to write uh, your own idea, type it. Uh, if for the moment I will copy the paraphrased one and let's see handy and online, now identify it. And in the third box, you will be given how uh, the similarity comes. Hmm? The, the words are same. Uh, SD mini, same. And uh, the portable small is different. If so, you can change the number of wordings. 55 gallons, likewise. Is that clear, Kasun? You better to use this. Uh, manually, you can uh, do it. Now, uh, I will stop sharing. Uh, I will show the Word document. Now, you can see the uh, this is not captured as a plagiarized information. Is there anything to know, uh, students? Kasun? Dinuri? Dinuri? Yes, sir. Is there anything to know? No, sir. Everything is clear. Clear. Uh, now, next part is uh, we, we can spin the words. Uh, how, how, how do you spin the words? Uh, there are word spinning tools. Uh, mm, uh, now, let's see how to spin the words. Because we can write uh, the same information in a different way. Free article spinner. Mm. There are many word spinning tools. 
Hmm? Uh, no, right. I'm going to input the text somewhere here. And uh, maybe we check whether I'm a robot or not. No, no, let's see. I have to type L B set. Yes. Now they spin the words. Uh, the SD mini is a small portable. Uh, here it says uh, the SD mini is a little uh, convenient uh, gadget intended for the use in uh, level mosquito territories. For example, 55 gallon drums, watering tanks, or Reservoirs, we are drinking water. Critically put away. Kasun? Kasun? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think? Hmm? Why don't you answer? Have you ever tried the thing like this before? Kasun? No, sir. No, sir. No? Uh, I, I mean about Mendeley? No, sir. <laughs> I, I'm asking a simple question. Have you ever used the, the uh, making the title of the Word document? Kasun? Yes, sir. We uh, making titles of Word document. Uh, Using the headings? Yeah. Sometimes, sir. Sometimes, so please use that method because uh, there are many uh, uh, applications and uh, 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 in addition to the word, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Latex. Latex is okay, but uh, <clears throat> we have to find the certain codes. Hmm? And uh, here, <clears throat> we should not worry about the codes. Hmm? And uh, we can uh, change the uh, things as it is. And uh, I, so uh, I gave you, there are many tools uh, for working uh, with the manuscript. Hmm? And uh, you don't want to worry about your uh, time for the unnecessary things. You have to focus on how to give you a core idea in the paper. Hmm? Uh, and uh, in addition to that, I will uh, teach you how to uh, write an equation on uh, the word document. Hmm? Uh, so here I use uh, the table method to include the word uh, equation. Uh, I have already done it, uh, but uh, uh, tomorrow or uh, ne next week I, I will discuss and I, I will show you how I insert the equation. Normally on the on uh, the word document when I press uh, Alt and plus equal button, the equation button comes and. Uh, uh, we can type uh, y equal mx plus uh, c and uh, we can put the number 
like uh, one. So we have to do it manually. Hmm? And uh, sometimes uh, that will not uh, so one goes somewhere else if you select uh, the double columns. Hmm? I will show you now y equal mx plus c is here. And I will change the layout of the word document into two columns. Hmm? Where is one? Kasun? Kasun? Yes, sir. Where is one now? One is somewhere else, no? So if you work Excuse with. Me, sir, me, sir uh, we still, uh, you don't uh, share the. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Then no, that, that is why I asked you to give the feedback. Hmm? Okay, I, I will show you. Yes. Now, yes, can you see the word document? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's see how to write uh, the equation and uh, the press call, alt uh, equal button, uh, y equal mx plus c. Uh, C and we have to lay, uh, number this uh, type of uh, equation and uh, uh, having tabs and do it like this. So this is okay, but if you uh, work with uh, the uh, 50 or 60 equations, if you are Supervisor asked to change the chapters. Again, you have to change the numbers. So that that uh, that that waste your time. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I will introduce a method. Uh, with that method, uh, you don't want to worry about that. And this method is not convenient if you change the, your document into two color document. Let's see when I change the layout, uh, double columns. Can you see the one is somewhere else? Yes, sir. So this method is not convenient. So I will uh, show you what I do. Uh, go to insert and see. Uh, I go to quick parts, I think. Auto text. Yes. And type uh, the equation here. You can see the number has already been generated. Y equal mx plus uh, c. And uh, after that, you can hide the borders of the table. This is called the table method of including the equations. And here, uh, if I'm going to insert another equation, text, can you see? The number has already been generated. Then uh, five plus uh, x equal nine. Likewise, and uh, the borders can be hidden. So now 
I, I, I will change the layout into double column. What do you think? As a, a equation number location changed, Dinuri? No, sir. So uh, uh, the table method is convenient for us. In addition to that, uh, if uh, this equation is copied for somewhere else, um, I will copy it and put it uh, to here. Now, this has to be one, no? This has to be two. In order to do that, uh, I think uh, we have to select all the document. Do you know the short form of uh, selecting all the document? I think control A. Yes, control A and uh, control F8 as I think I, I will check. No, control A, alt F8, no. Alt F8. No. Escape. Escape. No. Control F9. No. I don't remember. I don't remember how to uh, refresh the document. Then what can I do? Dinuri. <clears throat> if I don't remember, what can I do? Kasun? Kasun, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, keep in uh, internet. Yes, yes, that is the best way. Uh, and uh, I will search it. Let's go to the website. How to refresh. Uh, uh, look, uh, my, my keyboards were, if is not working, uh, but document some some keys are not uh, update and refresh one field and all fields of the word document yes sir i think press f9 key is to refresh all the fields in the world word uh, press control a to select all document and press f9 uh, f9 alone okay let's see I have already been selected. Let's try to select huh? why it comes. Mm -hmm. Function if my yes, ah, this message is coming. Update entire update page numbers only. Update entire table. Yes, update entire table changes the numbers. Did you see it, Dinuri? Sir, the screen is not shared. Sorry? Screen is not shared, sir. We are in still Google. Please uh, talk loudly. Sir, we are still in Google, sir, not screen shared. I can't hear your voice now. Dinuri? Yes, sir. Dinuri, can you hear me? Yes, sir.
can you hear me kasun yes sir ah okay uh so uh, did, did you see how i changed the numbers sir we didn't see sir uh, we just see the google huh? sir we didn't see the screen not shared eh huh? yes i didn't share it no thank you uh um i will share it again thank you so much for the feedback yes and uh, here <clears throat> the equation 2 is at the top one is at the bottom we have to refresh manually we can do it uh, since here there are two equations but if you work deal with uh, 50 or 60 equations in your document it is very difficult so first we have to select all the uh, document control press control and a together why it doesn't work ah yes it works control and a together select all the fields and while pressing uh, press uh, f9 in your keyboard then they ask uh, whether i need to refresh uh, all the fields or not select update entire table and select okay can you see dinuri yes sir yes so then you can change the page numbers uh how do you do this so when should i stop the lecture 11:15 12:15 115 no yes sir so why didn't you mention <laughs> so next time i will uh, discuss uh, how to use a table method to uh, label a word document so i will uh, save this document uh, for us this will see In the desktop we can save right i'm going to wind up uh, what do you think about the today's lesson dinuri i'm working at home dinuri yes sir uh so what do you think about the today's lesson it's clear sir, and we got uh, new things to it is it is clear sir today's lecture and it uh, we learn something new i can't hear your voice it's clear sir hmm okay kasun yes sir Uh, what do you think about the lesson today is that helpful yes, for you yes sir it's very helpful for us and uh, very important yes here after use this methods to make a document hmm? don't waste your time uh, i have seen uh, most of our students are wasting a lot of time of making a word document even the 
most of the experienced people uh, in the industry and academia waste their time when they are working uh, with the uh, manuscript. Hmm? So it's a lifelong lesson. Uh, uh, review this video, <clears throat> uh, watch this video again and again and learn how to uh, improve your uh, skills to make a proper word document. So sky is the limit and there is no limit and I have introduced a few tools for you. Uh, so <clears throat> there are many tools other than I, I discussed here. You can share your knowledge if you have more knowledge than me. Huh? So uh, as I told you, there is no boundary of the knowledge. Hmm? In the research field also, there is no boundary. We can't say this is a boundary and we all have to uh, within that boundary, no. Hmm? Uh, so <clears throat> if you get uh, the new kind of tool and you are feel free to discuss in this forum. Huh? Actually, this is not a lecture. Hmm? This is a, an open discussion. Hmm? So uh, I want to uh, take your, uh, take uh, something hidden in your mind. Hmm? So if you improve your writing skills, um, then uh, you can do a lot of things. Hmm? So technically, uh, how to write it something technically. Uh, there, there are many fashions. Uh, the, the writing fashion of one person is different from the other. Hmm? The <clears throat> talking fashion is also different. Speaking fashion. So my, 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 my speaking method is different from someone else. I don't want to imitate uh, the European people. So this is my way, uh, in the, the, I think Sri Lankan way. We can pick most of the information from the internet and I will emphasize again Sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the assignment is please uh, revisit your previous uh, manuscript and uh, revise it according to the information that I have taught you today. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you can resubmit it to the previous uh, assignment. Uh, I will check it again. Hmm? Okay, have a good day.